Uh, in my last video, I feel like I didn't explain my setup as well and as thorough as I should have. Um, so this video is going to talk about my setup in a little more depth. Um, so what I did was I made this uh, kind of graph image about the signal flow of kind of everything going on on my desk. And uh, we're going to start with Grand MA2 today. Um, so if we can bring that up over here, let's take a quick look. So now we're in MA. Um, you can see that I have one fixture in my layout view here, and it's just doing this little blue and white thing. Um, and we want to check to see if our laptop, which is running this chase, is actually sending out ArtNet into our Unreal PC. And I would suggest to do this before you even get into Unreal because sometimes teching DMX from laptop to laptop can be an issue and it's just better to get that sorted before you even get into Unreal. Um, so all the settings are same from the last video, all the ArtNet settings, the patch, everything like that. We're outputting Universe 1, we're still using the node. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna open this program called ArtNet Ominator. And what it'll do is it allows us to choose the different NICs on our computer and see what ArtNet traffic is on each NIC. Um, so you can see that I have four different NICs in my computer. I have the local, I have my MA net NIC, I have my ArtNet NIC, and I have my Wi-Fi. Um, and right now we're on the ArtNet one, and you can see some uh, DMX traffic. So yeah, that would just be a quick, uh, quick way to, to figure out if you can get ArtNet uh, out of your computer into uh, Unreal, I know that Champsys um, can do 64 universes of ArtNet for free, which I think is awesome. I just have no idea how to use Champsys. So like I mentioned at the beginning of quarantine, I had a Blackmagic mini recorder which only had one SDI or HDMI input. That didn't work in Unreal, so then I used my Aja USB capture card. That worked well for a little while. Um, I had to treat it as a media player. I couldn't use it as a media bundle because it wasn't one of the supported cards. Um, so eventually it kind of caused some problems and I caved and I spent about $500 on a Blackmagic Decklink Duo 2. Um, and that has been awesome so far. One of the more confusing parts about it though is the numbering scheme of the ports themselves. Um, and again, I would use the Blackmagic utilities to make sure that you have video signal coming into the computer before you even get started in Unreal. It's just, it'll just take one you know, extra step just to ensure that you're not gonna have any problems in Unreal because that's already hard enough. Um, so if we look at our other screen here, this is the Blackmagic desktop video setup. And I'll show you if we're at four right now, we'll go back to one. Uh, if we open our settings here, we can see that Decklink Duo 1, the connector is SDI 1. Oh, okay, great. This should be pretty straightforward. Nope, not with black magic. And I don't understand this numbering and I don't care to understand this numbering as long as I know what it is. Uh, Decklink 2, if we open our settings and go back into connectors, we'll notice SDI 3. SDI 3 and 4. No, no. We're going to make it SDI 3 because we want each individual input to be an individual input. We don't want to copy anything in this particular instance um, to me. So we'll go to deck link 3 and uh, connector. That's going to be 2 or none. Okay, we, we definitely want it to be 2. Um, we'll go back to four, and the only number left is four, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, so now that we know our numbering scheme, I just want to mention that the one closest to the motherboard here, this one, this one's going to be uh, the reference input. So Decklink Duo 1 will start here, um, just so we know. So now that we understand all that, we're going to open up our uh, Blackmagic Media Express and just check that we have um, video signal from our laptop coming into uh, our Unreal desktop. So we'll go up top here to device. 
We'll go to Decklink Duo 1, which is what the laptop is plugged into, and we'll, uh, we'll see that we have video playing. So now we're back in Unreal, and uh, we're in gameplay, and you can see the DMX going, you can see the uh, uh, laptop um, capture going as well, and uh, this kind of reminds me of a gig, almost. I don't know, what would you say? But uh, but yeah, I hope this makes a little more sense. Oh, just real quick. Oh boy, oh god. Shift F1. Um, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go into our video inputs here, and just to uh, double check our our media bundle. Um, if we remember from our settings in Blackmagic Media Express, we were Decklink Duo One. Um, we were at 1080p at 60. So that's what our media bundle is. Um, I made a media source that references the same th same thing, the same settings. I don't know that you need it, but I did it anyways. Um, so yeah, so I hope that makes a little bit more sense and everything's explained uh, more better. And uh, yeah.